This is Ken Leone, Vice President of Marketing here at Stock Rover. This video will provide an overview of Stock Rover's screener facility. Screeners screen for stocks or ETFs from a defined universe and deliver the tickers that pass all the criteria of the screener, thereby generating a set of investment candidates with the characteristics you desire. I'll start by showing you how to select and run a screener and display the screener results. Then I'll dive a little deeper into screener management where you can manipulate screeners as well as leverage screeners to perform filtering and scoring operations. Please note that some of the features shown in the video require a Stock Rover Premium Plus subscription. The simplest and quickest way to run a screener and see the results is to first select Table Mode in the gray menu bar and then simply click on the screener you want to run from the navigation panel. Clicking on a screener runs the screener and puts the generated results in the table. I've picked the Growth at a Reasonable Price screener, the GARP screener if you will. You'll see that the tooltip tells us the screening criteria. Note that you can control whether this tooltip appears or not under Preferences and selecting Show Navigation Panel Tooltips. I'll turn the tooltip off. Stock Rover starts you off with 15 or so popular screeners that you can use instantly. In addition to that, there are well over 100 additional screeners that you can select from and import into your account via the Stock Rover Investor Library. To do this, simply select Library from the gray navigation menu and select Screeners. Then find the screener or screeners you're interested in and import them. I'll search for Value Screeners. Note that screeners that have already been imported are lightly shaded, as we can see here with the Fair Value screener. I can see that the GARP screener returned 19 tickers into the table. You can think of the table as functioning like a spreadsheet, and each of the views is a workbook highlighting different aspects of price performance, financial, or operational information. I'll toggle to the Return versus S&P 500 view, and then back to the Profile view. If I change to All Mode, in addition to the table, I can see both the chart and detailed insight information for each of the tickers that pass the screener. You'll note that both the chart and the Insight panel march in lockstep when I step through the tickers. As we can see, there's a phenomenal amount of information available to us in both tabular and graphical format. If you want to create a new screener or modify an existing screener, Screener Management is the place to go. This is found under the Management group in the gray selector bar on the left. When I switch to the Screener Management view, we'll see three panes. Screeners is where we select the screeners we would like to manage. Screener Actions provides the shortcuts to screener functions, as well as quick access to help topics specific to screeners. The Screener pane is where we can alter the screener criteria, see a quick preview of the first 100 passing tickers, or all tickers if there are fewer than 100 that pass, run the screener in the table, chart the screener, and use the screener's criteria to filter and score. Stock Rover delivers an impressive set of editing capabilities. The screener can screen on any combination of over 500 price, operational, financial, 
efficiency, and ratings metrics. You can screen with historical data. You can rank stocks that pass screening by the criteria you care about based in weights assigned to the criteria. And you can use equations for more complex screening criteria. We can change all kinds of screening criteria. We can change what we screen for based on equity type, stock, preferred, or ETF, the universe of stocks to select from, for example, all exchanges, major U.S. listings, or perhaps just the S&P 500. We can edit based on a simple threshold. First, let's note that in the preview window, we see 24 stocks currently passing our screening criteria. Let's edit sales growth next year and change from 2% to 5%. Note now, preview shows 22 stocks. Stock Rover also supports the concept of equations. Here we see earnings per share now must be greater than the earnings per share for trailing 12 months value from one year ago today. Here we see historical metrics where we can choose to go back based on quarter, trailing 12-month period, or calendar year. This screener is a ranked screener. When I edit sales quarter over quarter change, we've assigned a weight of 5% based on the highest quarter over quarter change. We have 17 rankings that together add up to 100%. We also set the limit to 50, so if this screener were to return a huge number of tickers, we're limiting the return to the top 50 tickers. Let's save our changes. Screener management isn't simply for editing screeners. We see a whole host of options along the top. We can go to table mode and display the tickers along with their screening criteria, or we can take the results of the screener and load them into the most recently loaded view. In this instance, the most recently loaded view was the profile view. Let's run in table screener filters. The screener filters view is dynamic. The columns in the view will change based on the screener that's loaded from screener management. I can also chart the screener. Stockrover charts the screener as if it were a portfolio with an equal dollar weighting for each of the holdings. I can use the screener to score a portfolio or a watch list. To score means you can see how stocks in your portfolio or watch list perform against the full set of filters from the screener. Let's score a portfolio. I'll use the GARP screener to score a portfolio called 20 Top ESG Companies. We can see that Google met all 21 criteria of the GARP screener. So it ranked number one amongst the 20 stocks in the portfolio, and it's actually ranked number 11 in the GARP screener. I can also filter the table against the full set of filters from the screener. In this instance, we filtered down to one ticker, Google. I can also quickly remove or alter the filtering criteria. A quick note about the navigation pane. As a general rule of thumb, when in doubt, right click. When I right click on screeners, I'm presented with a host of options. When I right click on a screener folder, I can also create more screeners and even organize my screeners into folders. Folders are enabled under user preferences.
when I right click on a screener, I'm also presented with screener specific options. I can manage the screener. I can chart the screener by itself. I can add the screener to what's already in the chart. I can filter and score and more. I hope you found this video useful. I encourage you to explore Stock Rover and see all that it has to offer as well as check out our educational videos on our website. Thank you for watching.